Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how we can investigate the resistance of different components in the circuit, specifically a resistor and a light bulb. So the equipment I'm going to need, I've got my power pack, power supply, uh, an ammeter and a voltmeter, some wires, a light bulb, this is one from a, a ray box that you might have used before in physics, uh, and a resistor. These are the two things I'm going to investigate. So the circuit I'm going to use uh, involves my power pack, which I'm just going to represent as a battery on this. Because a battery would work fine as well. Uh, I'm going to have my component that I'm going to investigate. I'm going to draw this one as the resistor. Uh, and then I'm going to need to connect up an ammeter in series to it. And a voltmeter in parallel to it. You're going to have to excuse my diagrams. It should probably be drawn with a ruler. So I've got my circuit set up now. It's a little bit confusing, I notice, to, when you see it here. But you have to trust me that it is set up in the same way as the diagram before. I've swapped for different meters just because they show up better on the screen. Uh, so you'll be able to see a little bit more what's going on. Now my power pack is quite useful because it allows me to turn this dial to select roughly different voltages. Now I'm going to try and get the voltage exactly off this meter here. And then write down the power and write down the, the current here. So I'm going to try and get, I'm going to write them in this table. I'm going to have to calculate the resistance later. So let's see if we can do this. Right, let's turn the power pack on. First thing, if I turn this up, I'm going to try and get roughly one volt. Well, one, I'm going to have 1.05, good enough for me. Uh, current is 0 0.10 amps. Next one, go up to roughly two. Uh, 2.05 volts, 0 0.20 amps. And I'm gonna repeat this for a decent range. You don't need to watch me do this though. Uh, three volts. 3.08 volts and 0 0.30 amps. Already I see a pattern emerging. All right, so now I'm gonna try it with a bulb. I've replaced the, uh, the resistant, uh, resistor with a bulb instead. Um, now, right, we're gonna do the same job again, essentially, power supply on. And I don't see any point in making you watch me do this. I'll show you the results in a minute. But I'm gonna slowly turn the, resist the voltmeter up, uh, turn the power supply up until I get roughly one volt. Get the reading, get two volts. Get the reading, three volt, four volts, all the way up. And this is a 12 volt bulb, so I'm gonna turn it up as high as this power pack will go, basically up to 12 volts here. Right, thank you very much. See you in the... Okay, so I've collected all my results now. You can see them in these tables. A couple of things I'm gonna do. First thing, I'm gonna calculate the resistance for each of these values. All I have to do for that is uh, voltage divided by current. I just have to think about that one for a minute. Uh, voltage divided by current to get my resistance. Uh, and then I'm also gonna plot the voltage in the current on a graph, well, on a pair of graphs, I think, uh, so that you can compare the two. Right, see you in a minute. So I've done my calculations now. Um, as you can see, the resistance of the resistor stays pretty much constant at around 10, uh, no matter what the voltage or the current is. The bulb, on the other hand, as the voltage is increasing, as the potential difference increases, the resistance seems to increase as well. We'll come back to that in a minute and, uh, and explain that too. So what I did was I started plotting a graph of this. Uh, so on my x-axis, I've got my potential difference in volts. And on my y-axis, I've got my current in amps. And this line is the plot of my uh, of my resistor, and as you can see, because the voltage, uh, because the, the resistance is constant, the slope of the graph is constant as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on uh, the uh, the points for, uh, that represent the bulb. I'll do those in a different colour. Be right back. So now I've plotted the graph for my bulb as well. There's a little plot and error here. I made a mistake. Oops, never mind. Um, now I've plotted those results, you can see I get a very different graph from my bulb. And that's to do with the fact that when my bulb's turned on, it gets hot. Um, and the more current that flows through the bulb, the hotter it gets. 
Now that heating effect actually causes the resistance of the bulb to increase. And so what happens is that the, the, as the, at, the, at low voltages, when I increase the, the voltage, the current increases rapidly because it's got a low resistance. But as the bulb gets hot and starts glowing, its resistance increases. And so for every as the, as the voltage increases here, the current doesn't increase as much because it's got a higher resistance now that the bulb's hot. Now, you have to be able to explain how to investigate a bulb and a resistor. And so long as that you can draw the circuit diagram, explain how to collect the results, and then explain how to, uh, then, you know, explain how to produce one of these graphs, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.